In today's teaching tip, we're going to show you how to log into your Zoom account and download and delete your videos. So to get started, what we do is we go to cambriancollege.zoom.us and we sign in with our credentials. And you can see that these are some of my meetings that I have set up here. And the tab that we want to go to is called Recordings. Now it's important to note that when you do recordings on Zoom, uh, there are two places that you can record them. You can do local recordings, which are actually on your computer. Um, these are all local recordings that I've done to my computer. Um, but by default, it's set up to do cloud recordings. And there's a lot of advantages to that. Number one is that it transcribes the video, plus it hosts it for you automatically. So it just sends you a link and you can send that out to your students. But one of the issues uh, that happens when you do that is that the media is actually recorded elsewhere. You don't actually have a copy of it. So if anything should happen to Zoom, if your account gets canceled or anything like that, you could potentially lose these files. So today we're going to show you how to download these files individually and then that way there you can have a backup. We'll also show you how to delete these files once you're done to clear up some space. Now Cambrian College has quite a large data space for these files. However, with all the faculty recording their lectures, it gets eaten up quite fast. Um, so I'm going to show you how to download your files so you have them for archive purposes and I'll also show you how to delete videos. So to get started what we'll do is we'll delete some videos. Now if I look at my list here and I look at the file size I can tell you that for sure this little file right here 31k, 3 megabytes, 2 megabytes, 38k um, these first files right here are definitely files that I probably just turned on the record just to show somebody or an example that sort of thing and they're not necessarily files that are useful to me. So I know for a fact that these four files are not useful for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these files. Now, if you want to delete everything, you can hit this and it'll select everything. However, be very, very careful because if you delete them, um, they are gone. Now, the nice feature about Zoom is that it works pretty much the standard of a lot of other online cloud platforms. If you delete the videos, it says, are you sure you want to do confirmation, move them to the trash. It actually moves them to the trash and you'll see that those files are now gone. So if I go to the trash, a nice feature is that they are literally in the trash. And if you read right here, your recordings will be saved for 30 days. Now this is very similar to uh, a lot of file hosting services where if you delete something, there's still a chance to get back to it. So if I wanted to say I accidentally deleted something, I could hit recover onto this one file. And if I go back to my recordings, you'll notice that that file is now back. But for my purposes, I'm going to delete it. Now there's a couple other files in here that I know are probably not useful. Uh, this one here that's one megabyte, that's a very small file, and this one here, so I'm going to delete those two as well because I know that that's nothing important. However, all of these other files are quite large, and you can see that um, by the file size that there's, uh, you know, file files, four files, that sort of thing. So as you can see here, I have four files. Now you'll notice that if I select all, there's not a download all button. So what I actually have to do is go into more and download each one of these files individually. And for my purposes, I'll just do this. Now some of these files are quite large and it will take a little while. It's saying four minutes three minutes, that sort of thing. Um, the smaller files like the text files and some of the uh, ancillary files that come with us are quite small and they download very quickly. Any of the video files are actually quite large and they take quite a while to download. So you can see this one right here is 86 megs, it's done. This next one here is 1.3 megs and it's still downloading. Now you'll notice that we have a local recordings tab right here. If we go to it, we see that we can actually delete these videos. Now it's important to note that if you hit delete, you'll notice that it removes the local recording from the list, but does not delete the recording. All it does is delete reference to it on this web page. The actual media doesn't get affected. If you want to delete that media, you actually have to go to the, your computer, to the location that it's stored and manually delete it just like any other file. So all this does is remove it from this list. So my recordings have all finished downloading. I've got this one here and this one here. I'm going to go and download this one now and download all file files of that. And I'll download this one as well. Now, because these files are quite large and I'm downloading several files simultaneously, you'll notice that this one here is saying, you know, 20 minutes, 17 minutes, depending on how fast my internet speed is. 
Now, if I want to permanently delete these before the 30 days is over, what I can do is go back to my trash and I can manually delete all of these files. And you'll notice that if I do all of that and I hit delete, you get a warning saying you're permanently deleting these. They will not be recoverable and they are gone. Now if I go back to my cloud recordings, there are my four videos that I've recorded that I want to keep. These ones here are all being downloaded and should be done shortly. So that's how you delete and back up your video files on Zoom. This way here I can rest assured that I have all of the media backed up for whatever reason. If this does get deleted, I have a copy and uh, can always upload this back up to YouTube or a different service and reshare the files that way. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the Hub. We're always happy to help.